Hey up lads and lasses, Damfire here. Back again with some more, um, uh, this isn't a tier list to say, this is more of a best in slot list. Uh, we're going to go through some of the plugins. Um, I've decided on this format because if I went through and did a uh, tier uh, list of all the plugins, uh, we'd be here for quite a long time. So what I'm going to do is, uh, as you can see, up there, somewhere, that way, uh, we have general, uh, so just generally good plugins on any ship, uh, specific to carriers, specific, uh, specific to laser boats, projectiles, missiles, and torpedoes. Uh, we're just going to go through, and I'll uh, show you what I recommend is best in slot. Uh, note that there are purple versions of most of these, so you can run those as well. Uh, I highly recommend getting purples at least. Um, I wouldn't touch the blues too much. The, um, the difference between the purples, blues, and uh, uh, the golds is quite a lot. So uh, just if you can get the purples, get the purples. It's also quite a lot of resources to upgrade some of these. I'm not sure if you get them back. I held off on recycling any plugins so far because uh, of the cost to put into them. But theoretically, I think you can get everything back from them, but I don't want to risk it. Uh, anyway, we're going to go through general. So these are just going to be genuinely good on warships. I'll tell you what the, why they're good and um, that sort of thing. And uh, I've got some situations where some are quite good in wolf and some are just good for arena so we're gonna go with standard armor standard armor is just the best out there for arena for certain it's pretty good for wolf um the reason standard armor is so good is because it has that percentage of durability increase which is just exponentially it's just more hp more hp is better i can just highly recommend that so it's good in arena because it'll keep your ships alive a little bit longer and it's good in Wolf because, again, it'll keep the ships alive a little bit longer. Uh, next up, we have Creature Armor. Uh, so I've done calculations with this. Your ship would need to live for 33 seconds uh, to make up for the difference that Standard Armor gives, that, like, flat bonus. So in Arena, this isn't particularly good because if a ship's going to get primaried, it's probably going to die within 33 seconds. So I can't recommend this, uh, the creature armor for Arena. However, for Wolf, this is easily better than standard armor because uh, this can just keep healing and healing and healing and healing. And then you know, more than likely, you, you know, you're 20 minutes into Arena, uh, into uh, Wolf, sorry, to complete it. So it's going to be a lot more of a bonus than the standard armor gives at that point. Also, it's quite nice because um, some of the uh, ships and wolf do have penetration, so they'll ignore shields, they'll hit your um, hull instead, and this kind of mitigates that a little bit, gets that healing going a bit quicker. Um, collectors, uh, I've just chosen a picture of this one because I like the look of it, it's a giant drill. But, yep, yeah, collectors are just good on all ships if you can fit them, uh, especially if you're using them in your mining fleet. Increasing your um, amount of mining is just great. So, yeah, if you got any collectors, I recommend anything above green even. Green gives plus two, which is really, really good. Uh, you need plus two at minimum to meet that sort of 8,000 per hour on uh, Tritanium. Uh, so, yeah, collectors are just good. Same goes for this one. This is a medium warehouse. Any of the warehouses are good. Obviously, the bigger the better, and the higher the quality, also better. Um, it just gives you more room and allows you to hit the break points where you might want to, you know, try and go for a 12-hour mining rather than maybe some seven or eight hours. So, yep, yeah, can highly recommend that as well. Next, we move on to the specific uh, versions. So, we're going to go start with a carrier. For the carrier. Uh, the best in slot for me is the Assault CP. This gives uh, increased uh, duration, so your uh, UAVs are out for longer, which is overall it's an increase in DPS because they're not flying back and then waiting for the cooldown to fly back out again. Uh, so obviously that's pretty good. That's on all CPs, so don't worry too much about that. You'll get them at all. The reason I say Assault is because it increases the damage of UAVs by 10%. Which is quite marginal. It's a it's good damage boost and it's probably best in slot for that reason. Next up, uh, this one's a little bit more for Wolf. This is the Replenishment CP. 
what this allows is um, you get extra flights of UAVs, basically. At the moment, I think it's two or three flights of UAVs. Once they're used up, you sat there, your carrier's not doing anything. It's, it's no, it's useful as a rock at that point. It's not dealing any damage. Replenish CP in Wolf is quite good because it adds an extra two. Uh, well, depending on the variation, it could be one for blue, I think. I think it's two for purple and three for gold. Um, but that's, you know, a, an extra flight or an extra two or three flights. Uh, this can keep the UAVs out, keep them dishing out the, uh, damage in Wolf uh, before you get a reload. And yeah, really useful for that reason. We then go into laser boats. Uh, so anything with lasers on. So for example, you got the uh, Fell Hunter, the Immortal and Legion and Arbitration. Or Arbitrator, sorry. Uh, this is just really good because Overload, Overload is is a percent increase of uh, damage versus shields. It's the only laser plugin to give any sort of damage increase. Uh, the other ones uh, are not so good. They give you reduced energy uh, costs and stuff like that, which uh, I haven't seen it used for as of yet. So Overlord, uh, Overload uh, is probably the best in the slot. Uh, so recommend that. Projectiles, we have the DP plugin. This is definitely best in slot for projectiles. This is a flat uh, damage boost to enemy warships. There's not much I can say about this. The, the other ones are like calibration and I can't remember what the last one is. This one is by far the best. It just leaves the other two for dead. And it, if you get a DP plug-in, be extremely happy. <laughs> they, they just win. Missiles, we have the D missile plug-in. Pretty much the same thing. If you're running missiles, God help you, but the D missile plugin is the best in slot. It gives the increased um, damage, uh, which is pretty much all you're caring about at this point. And last but not least, we have the high speed torpedo plugin. There's no damaged plugins for um, torpedoes. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much about this anyway because you're not going to be running torpedoes all that much. But the high speed. Uh, torpedoes relatively nice increases the speed of the torpedoes so allows them to you know get from your ship to the enemy ship dealing damage quicker which is nice so that's it for this uh, little list uh, let me know if i've missed any that you think are probably uh, quite good uh, in the comments below and uh, we'll have a bit of a discussion about that it's always good and because the algorithm loves it like and subscribe uh, that's all i can say about that <laughs> Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day and catch you guys next time.